pants. Hey, uh, today we have a uh, real Playboy model in studio with us. Donna Spangler is here today, and we'll talk about her new book in just a minute. But first, I want to get your opinion on what we just saw, this idea of sexual empowerment as the new feminism, or are women just going backwards? I don't think women are going backwards. I think that you can be feminine and strong at the same time. Why should we have to uh, wear pants or wear a dress? Why can't we just wear what we want? If we want to be feminine and be sexy, there's, there's a certain level of confidence we get from that. I know a lot of women go out there and get uh, boudoir pictures done, and they look at the pictures, they say, oh, God, I can look like that. And feeling sexy is, is, is a good thing. You know, I mean, feeling that sexuality is a, is a positive thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. And if we have people saying, oh, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that, what good is it? I think all around it's mm. a good thing. The difference in the photos, you know, you really do see a sense of power in some of these more modern day scantily clad women than you did with the bunnies and the little cottontails. Sex, you know what sex I mean? is power. So you power. don't think uh, sexuality and, and strength are, are mutually exclusive? No, I think that, that um, you have a certain level of sexuality and you feel good about it and that confidence will come out in life and I think it's positive. Well let's talk about you and your book. You've got a lot of confidence. Uh, you have written a book. It's called How to Get a Rich Man. Let's talk a, a bit about your career and your credentials for writing a book like this because you, you were a, a playboy model in the 80s. Yes. Yes I was. And that was a great experience. I really liked doing it and in life you do a lot of different things and I think if somebody were to tell me oh you can't do this then that would have given me kind of um, would have taken something away from me and although I might not be posing nude at this point in my life it was an experience then that was that was quite empowering and and things were changing you know in way back when there was a certain taboo to certain things and um, now it's it's just some people think it's fine, some people don't. But um, I think it's good to have the choice. Well, talk about this defining a moment for you. It's 1989. You're sitting in Denny's uh, on a date. Talk about that experience and what led you eventually to this book. There were many experiences that I had uh, where I was dissatisfied with the level of character that I was dating and um, I had a couple experiences that were very similar similar in different restaurants but I decided to myself I want to have somebody who is a better class of person who would put me on a pedestal who would treat me like I would want to be treated um, who would have all those old-fashioned you know open the door um, and I realized through through dating through trial and error, dating from rich to poor, but you know, I decided that I wanted to date the higher echelon of man. And rich doesn't necessarily mean monetarily rich, although that is included, but rich in character and heart is very important. All right, give me a laundry list, if you would, of things mm -hmm. a woman should not do if she wants to hook up with a rich guy. Okay, now some girls might not like this, but smoking is not a good thing. Uh, too much drinking is not a good thing. I, I say that tattoos aren't the greatest thing because from all the uh, experience I've had with that as far as asking the men that I've asked that were wealthy men, I've, I've asked around, the tattoos puts you in a lower level. No tattoo. All right, I'll have to remove my tattoo on my... Never mind. In, in your book, you talk about the princess formula. What is the princess formula, and how can that help you get a rich man? The princess formula is my formula that I've come up with throughout the years that will enable you to have the best chances to meet a quality man, and that is having an air of confidence, and you can do that in many different ways. Um, making sure that you look your best and there are certain things in life you don't need to be the most beautiful girl on the planet uh, but you should make the most of what you have because it's not it's important to try to 
to, to be to have pride in, in what you have and who you are and those things that you aren't as good at you try to change or fix or modify if you aren't good with uh, certain things like say you need to improve your vocabulary get a vocabulary and grammar book so be the best you how fun was it to research this book what is the craziest thing that happened while you were doing all your research oh my gosh I mean uh, the craziest thing I don't know about the craziest thing but I had fun doing it um, I, I kept kind of a little journal of, of certain things and um, there, you know what the funniest thing that happened to me was uh, I realized that there are some guys that are very attached to their children and um, <laughs> sometimes if you're dating men you have to kind of get over that with the children you come thing. second Ex well not you don't want to come second but you have to just weed certain guys out if they have certain hang-ups Donna, very quickly, did you get a rich man? Are you married to a rich man? Yes, I have a rich man. We've been together for eight years. His name is Richie. And Richie live, Rich. Richie, and we live in Beverly Hills, and he's a great guy. And he's rich in spirit also. That's All right, important. thanks so much, yes. Donna. That's important. You, you have, have book signing tonight. The information is yes. there on the board. Uh, uh, Barnes & Noble in Encinitas, uh, 7 o'clock tonight. And you're teaching a seminar at the Learning Annex tomorrow. Yes. All right, thanks so much. Thank Donna you. Spangler, uh, Spangler, an interesting read. How to get a rich man. You heard it's it here. It's too late for us. You heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to check in with a rich man right now, Rod Black. He's